When there's stuff on your mind and you're just feeling unclear, just hop on the mic and speak without fear. Let's air out. Do do doon doon doon. It's episode thirty one. What's going on, guys? Aaron here, host of Aaron Air Out, the podcast, as you know. Or should I say, what's up, ladies and folks? I don't know if I've been saying that in the past episodes. This is a this is a different episode, though. This is not for the ladies and folks. I'm sorry, guys. This one is not for you. This episode is an episode for this guy. This is for me. This is for Aaron. This is a conversation I need to have with myself, and I figure, you know what? Might as well record it. Might as well <laughs> talking to myself seems weird. However, talking to yourself and recording it less weird. Am I right? Am I right about that? Ugh. But Aaron, Aaron, dude, what's going on? I got my camera on. I look very sad in this, and I'm not. I just took a shower. My eyes are very blue, but I look very uh. I look beat. I look beat down. Tired. I am tired. It's been a long week. It's been a very long week, Aaron. We've been doing good work, though. It's been a good week week for us. We were, uh, we were in a rut for a while there. We're, uh, we're starting to pull ourselves out of it, which feels good. We've been exercising more. We've been taking showers every day. That seems to be a key step. Waking up at the same time every day. That's been, we've been doing a lot of good stuff. A lot of really good stuff. However, there's still this barrier in your way just a, a blockade that you put in front of yourself and it's uh it's yourself it's me i love to body block myself whenever i'm like goal then here comes aaron just smacks that goal in my hands like nah no 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 we're not doing that how about a nap how about ordering uber eats and bedging bedging is that a word binging and vegging bedging just bedging out yeah, I um, we had some people over this weekend. I had some. I didn't have some people over as you couldn't. We as a household, they're Ethan and Martin's friends. They had people over, and you know, I I went and hung out with them as as one does, uh, and also as I do apparently is I am, just the uh, the silent presence in the room. I'm. People would say introverted. People would say shy. People would say antisocial. I, I could say you could like um, all those words are like partially true. Uh, you know, introvert is like a scale, introvert to extrovert. And like there are times when I'm in groups and I'm a talkative guy and I'm, you know, just being free and loose with my, my language. And it's like everyone's having a good time. But then most of the time, it's not that I'm like af- afraid. To, I guess it is kind of like afraid to talk to people. It's like uh, I very much second guess myself constantly uh, when I'm in a group of people. Uh, and I'm very, I'm very much like a harsh critic on myself. And essentially, I'm just like, when if I'm gonna speak and contribute to this group, because there's a lot of people talking in this group. Uh, if I have, if I'm gonna contribute to this group, it has to be like really good. You know, what I have to say has to be like either really interesting or really funny. And like, I want everyone like to engage with everybody. Um, and just the bar for what I consider to be like really interesting or really funny is I put so high sky high that I end up just not saying nothing I just end up being sitting there silently you know waiting for my time to shine and uh you know throughout the throughout the the, the night I I come up with things that I'm like this this is funny this is a real toasty zinger I just, I just thought of in this conversation I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this one out there I'm gonna everyone's gonna love this one I'm gonna toss it out there and I wait for my moment and like okay three two one now, you know what it's not that funny actually I don't think I don't think people really enjoyed this one it's uh, it's not as funny as I thought it was. No, I should, I should sit on this one. You know, maybe let's let's see if we can rework this into an even funnier joke. It's a, and, and by now, like that chance for throwing that funny zinger out there is gone. It's gone. So that's missed opportunity. But you know what? That actually was kind of a funny zinger. It actually, was kind of a really toasty funny. That would have gotten everyone a rousing laugh. It was funny. I'm a funny guy. I, I should have said it. I regret that. I should have said, okay, I'm sure another another opportunity will come up for me to toss out a. A, a real a real knee slapper you know or a real an anecdote an interesting thought that people are like wow that's very thought provoking Aaron this is going to spur many more conversations and it's just a constant uh you know constant loop of 
me thinking of something to say, wanting to say it, and then telling myself, no one's going to like that. That's, that's not, it's not good. It's not good. You're going to ruin the conversation. You're going to bring the mood down. It's not going to be funny. People are just going to look at you weirdly. It's just, uh, it's not worth it. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have, people want to be right a lot. You know, people want to, you know, come off as intelligent and correct. People want to be right. I am worried about being wrong. When I was in sixth grade, I remember a parent-teacher conference with Miss Stevenson. The one thing she said was like, Aaron's got to speak up more. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't answer questions in class, yet he does well on his tests. And whenever I do like point on him and ask him a question, he knows the answer. Yet he never puts his hand up to be like, hey, I know the answer. And she says, Aaron, like, do you feel bad about other students when they uh, like put up their hand to answer a question and they're wrong? And I was like, yes, I do. I do feel bad about that. Um, and she's like, well, you shouldn't be. And I don't remember the full conversation. This was sixth grade. This was 2005. Uh, she's like, and she's like, you know, wanted to encourage me, you know, put your hand up, answer questions. And I did for, for a stint after like the day, I remember the day after my teacher, parent teacher conference, I was sticking my hand up all the time, getting correct answers left, right and center. Then I got a wrong one and I felt like an idiot when I answered the question wrong. And then it like just stopped, stopped putting my hand up after that just uh and that's just been a constant struggle in my life in our life Aaron this is a conversation with you and I just not wanting to uh get things wrong and I'd rather just uh you know if I get them right just like in my head I'm like you know check accomplished you know we knew it that's I guess it's just important that we knew it doesn't necessarily mean we have to share it with everybody that we knew it but then I'm also just filled with uh you know times in my life where it's like I know the answer uh and uh, I don't say it. And then when people like look up the answer and they find it, I'm like, why? Well, I, sh I should have just like said the answer. I could have come off as, you know, I guess that's not the point. It's coming off as smart, but like I could have, you know, done something. Could have like a little personal gratification of being right in front of a group of people and like, you know, answering the problem, solving a solution, saying a funny joke. Um, but I, I hold that back for myself because I have this fear of being wrong. And it's the same thing that goes into this, uh, all this YouTube stuff. I think I have all these ideas. I, I know I have all these ideas. They're like unique and they're totally me and they're funny. And then I just, whenever I, I talk myself up, just like in those conversations, like, okay, this is, I'm going to film this. This is going to be really funny. This is going to be really funny. And then when I get to the point where I'm just about to do it, I say, you know what? No, it's not that funny. It's not as stupid. It's dumb. No one's going to like this. What's the point of making it? No one's going to enjoy it. It sucks. You know, I have this, uh, I have confidence uh like i have all the confidence to like walk up to the mic and get ready to start speaking and then as soon as i have to like produce a sound and like you know step into that whatever task i'm doing the confidence is gone and it disappears and that's like the most important confidence you need is that one last step you know the one the one second of confidence you need to get into something i don't have i lose all of it leading up to it, i talk a big game to myself and just when it comes to actually applying it and, you know, doing something with who you are, it's, um, it's not there. It's not there. And, uh, this isn't like some, like some, some woe is me, some pity me kind of thing. Because the thing is, I know that confidence is in there. I know I've got it in me. I've had success before. I've had that confidence before where I'm just like, you know talk to people and do things and like things work out for you and like apply yourself and everything works out great and you feel fantastic in your life and then i just you know went on five or six years of just all i did was drink and feel sorry for myself and feel terrible terrible and just completely obliterated all my all my confidence in myself and now i constantly second guess myself and i feel terrible and i just uh it's really hard to build it back up because you build it back up by just like doing things and like repeatedly over and over again, taking that courageous step and just doing something and throwing yourself out there. And the more often you do it, the more you realize it's not a big deal and it's easy. And I just, I can't get to that. And I'm trying, I'm trying to get to that. I'm doing the self-discipline book. You know, I'm trying to do new things. I signed up for soccer this summer. Um, you know, I've been exercising more. I'm taking care of myself better. I brush my teeth every day. I shower every day. I moisturize like I never moisturized before. I'm washing my face every day. You know, I'm on a good sleep schedule. I, I read 
in my spare time i go for walks like lengthy walks every day i'm doing a lot of like good things that i should be proud of myself and yet i'm still like really down on myself and like beat myself up because there's just like this tiny facet of myself that's just like you could be more confident you could be more out there and the reason i'm so down on myself is because I, I i it's in there it's in there it's not like uh it's not a difficult task the only thing stopping me from accomplishing this task is 100 percent myself i'm just uh completely inhibiting any ability for myself to like exceed into a higher realm and like i've got all the groundwork set i've been working on that for the past how long have i been here six months now september more september october november december uh seven months over half a year i've been kind of working on this stuff and taking care of myself and you know getting to a place that i thought would be like get all this stuff good and going and you're confident and you're you know your self-esteem will come back in bounds and it's just uh, it hasn't worked out that way it hasn't worked out that way and i need to find like how do you do baby steps into building self-esteem you know uh like at work i have some days where i'm like it's a small group of guys and i feel good to like just like chat and like say stuff and like feel good but then there's like other times where my my superintendent and my assistant superintendent is like talking to me and like i feel like he wants to have like more of a conversation and i'm just like giving him basic answers and i keep saying for some reason my word working this but just been right on i keep saying right on all the time and i hate it everything they go, hey, Aaron, can you uh, go rake these leaves? I go, right on, man. I, yeah, I can do that for sure. For sure. Sounds good, dude. Uh, yeah, can, then can you go, like, shovel out these stump holes? And, like, right on, man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Sounds great. Yeah. All good. No problem. No problem. And I'm, like, I'm just... I'm, like, a, like those dolls where you squeeze their hand and they have, like, a catchphrase. That's, like, one of five things. That's exactly what I feel like when I'm there. And I'm, like, this is... I'm so dumb. Like, why can't I just... I don't even know how to start a conversation. That's my other thing. I'm so used to not starting a conversation and just waiting for someone else to like introduce me into a topic. And then I can like, okay, now, now that you've set the, what we're talking about, now I can talk to you. And I just, I don't have that ability because I've never worked on it. I've never, I, cause like I said, I never feel like whatever I would have to start a conversation with is worth it. And no one would ever want to talk about what I want to talk about. It's like the, I have the opposite of narcissism. Anything that I want to talk about, I'm like, no one, no one wants to talk about that. I'm going to keep that to myself. And it's, uh, yeah, it's tough to, uh, when you want to do things like improv and stand up and like, uh, you know, make funny videos and put yourself out there. Uh, not being able to put yourself out there is a, a big, uh, that's a big detriment and makes it difficult to accomplish, especially when you put a lot of your self-worth in a lot of your, uh, you know how you how you feel about yourself on that uh you know I, I classify myself as a as a funny guy and i also class myself as a f quiet guy and those things are kind of difficult to to go at the same time if you're never actually saying the jokes and stuff that you think are funny you just write them down and you're like okay at some point i guess i'll i'll make this video or at some point i'll make this animation which god that animation idea it's uh it's very hard it's so difficult i just finished my first I did like a painting of a horse doctor not it's an actual doctor i should i say actually uh and then um i did an animated version of that like i did it on my computer on my tablet and god it's way harder it's so hard to do that like it's gonna take me a, i gotta just like work on doing digital drawings and then gifs i made a gif last night and i'm actually really proud of it it's a lot of fun um it's like a, a piece of poo falling from the sky and then sunglasses fall on the, on the piece of poo and then it says that's some cool shit and then it all disappears in loops. Uh, and that was a ton of fun to make, uh, making gifts. I think I can do more gifts and stuff like that. But geez, the animations. I don't know why I thought. Uh, I keep looking for the easy way um, to do things. I love, I love trying to find the easy way. And I thought, well, since I have this like low self confidence in filming stuff, and like I don't want to hear my roommates. Like, I don't want them to hear my joke and what the video is about. Cause like, then they're gonna be like, oh, it's a dumb video. And it's making a stupid, unfunny video. And we make funny videos here. Uh, so then I'm like, okay, well, if I just make animations, no one will be able to see what I'm making until I release it and I can make it perfect. And I thought it'd be super quick. Cause like, oh, I can draw. I'll just, I can slap out these animations in like a week. And then I realized like 12 frames per second. Uh, if I want to make a 30 second animation, 
that's what 360 drawings like jesus that's a lot and the one drawing took me an hour plus to do um so that's yeah that's a good portion of my time when i'm only able to commit like an hour or two a night on a weeknight and then probably more time on the weekends to doing that i thought it'd just be a breeze though i thought i'd just you know get in my room draw away and have a have fun animations you know i never i'm not the kind of person that like plants ahead and like i'm like just dive into the topic and figure it out as you get going figure out all the problems don't you know don't even consider them before you've committed to this idea and yeah once again i bit off more than i could chew um i said i quit youtube i didn't quit youtube on a hiatus and even that's like a like a blow to myself because I feel like you know such a like I jumped the gun on maybe saying that, and I was like I let a lot of people down, uh, you know everyone's kind of I went out of my way to do this whole like leave my job, start a new life and like I want to do entertainment stuff and I want to be entertaining, and now I'm not doing any of that. I work at a golf course which I'm having a lot of fun on the golf course like my, I'm I'm enjoying myself out here. Um, but there's also this like voice in my head that like everyone is like, uh, you know, kind of bummed out and, uh, like I'm letting a lot of people down that I didn't, you know, I'm not putting in more effort into YouTube or like doing stand up or doing stuff like that. Like I, I had a, I had a good job going. I had a, a, a good life lined up and then I just, I left it to do something that I'm not even like doing right now. Um, and now I have another goal of like living in my van and driving around and just being, uh, you know, being me, uh, and, uh, exploring. Cause that's the thing I feel like I like the most is just, uh, going to new places and just seeing things, not even necessarily like, I don't really have uh, aspirations for fancy stuff or like a, a big house or a nice car. Just, uh, I just want like free time and just to like, you know, just be like, put my feet up whenever, whenever I want, just put my feet up and like relax and be like, everything's good. You know, wherever I am. Um, I feel like, you know, everyone's like scrambling to make a, save all this money for like, for the rest of their life and have this big, this big, everyone's trying to scramble to like have this, you know, big nest egg so that they can retire and then just like do what they want. And, uh, I'm like the exact opposite. I'm like, I just need to make enough money so I can do what I want, you know? Uh, if I'm okay living like on the like with very minimal stuff and living very low I don't have to worry about having a, a bunch of money because then if I lost it I'm already okay with having a little bit you know I think everyone's uh you know once you get a little bit of money all the all rich people seem to just like accumulate more money and that's the thing because they're worried about losing it all and I'm like what if I'm if I just get used to having nothing I feel like that's probably a better way to live and I'm just like I'm comfortable always you know, as long as I'm, I can feed myself and like, I'm not dying. I feel like those, I'm pretty good. Like I'm, I'm happy with that. I, uh, I can entertain myself. I like just walking, walking is my favorite form of entertainment. So if I can just like afford gas and food and then just walk around places and sleep in my car, um, that's like a, a really good life to me. Um, yeah, this guy at work, he, uh. I told him I was like environmental science, you know, he's an older guy. He sent me this, his grandson, I guess was in the same thing, environmental science. He applied for a company and now the old guy's like, oh, I'll get you the, uh, the website for the company. And then you can look at that and then you can get back in your field. Everyone, all the older guys I work with, like you're, you're going to get back in your field, right? You don't want to do jobs like this, you know, like for the rest of your life, this is no kind of work. And it's uh, I don't have the confidence again to be like telling them like, no, I actually love this. I, I don't mind at all raking all day and like shoveling all day and like you know doing manual labor i i like working with my hands i don't really i didn't like working with just my brain um so now i gotta like go this whole song and dance and like pretend i like oh yeah these are all, all these jobs are very cool and so uh, i gotta pretend to him like i'm applying to them and just to uh, you know entertain him for the rest of the summer until i can leave and then you know i don't want to tell him like hey no actually my plan is to live in my van and not get a real job and if if things went my way, I would never have to use my resume again. And I'd just be able to like, you know, figure things out on my own. And I do have a confidence in myself that I could, I am smart enough. And I, I do have, I have a charisma inside me. I know there's a character and there's someone that people enjoy. I've made friends 
I entertain people. I make my friends laugh. There is a entertaining person inside me. And if I can just like find that person, I think I could use that to like, you know, talk to people and like, you know, people are willing to help you if you ask them. People like, uh, people like helping people and people like uh, friendly people. So if I can just like be that friendly, charismatic guy who lives in his van and like talks to people, make, makes friends all across Canada, maybe all across the world. No, that's, I think that's a, that'd be a really cool way to live and then get back to like, you know, I could document that and like, I feel like I've got a personality that people would like to see and like, uh, yeah, yeah, see, I've got do, 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 do. musical interlude. I have no balls, no balls <laughs> in the process of recording that saying I'm a confidence. I've got charisma. I've got everything I need. I heard someone, uh, sorry, move that mic there. I always forget that that's going to make a lot of noise. Someone went to the bathroom, which is right across from the hall from me. And that just, uh, it always throws off my, uh, my flow and I have to stop, which is weird because I'm releasing this like out into the world. Uh, for anyone to hear, yet having people hear me record it live is somehow, like, off-putting. Like, this is like a secret little recording I do. This is like my, my little secret. I actually thought about, when I thought about doing this podcast of, uh, talking to myself, I just, I thought about doing it in my car. And just, like, having my phone up close to my face and just, like, t go park somewhere far away and just kind of, like, let my mind go. So I think I've said before, like, when I just, like, let my mind think and just, you know... It just, I come up with way better, way better stuff, and then I try to recreate that on the podcast. Try and, like, recreate jokes and stuff, and it just, it doesn't have that organic nature to it. So, like, if I just, like, uh, get myself alone and just speak freely, it'd be a, it'd be a great podcast, I think. But, uh, then I was like, the audio quality is gonna be crap. I didn't want to drop it down that much, so. Just, uh, in the future, maybe we get a, a studio, or figure out how to get a, a nice laptop set up in the car. I think uh, getting a laptop is the is the move when I, if I ever want to live live in a van down by the river. But uh, yeah, so I took a I stopped recording for about half an hour. I took a little pizza break. I uh, took a snack, and now I've got uh, just some quiet music playing in my ears. I don't think it should pick up in the mic. I kind of tested it out just uh, as like a little uh, background buffer, just so I can't hear stuff going around outside me. So hopefully that helps. But uh, really lost really lost my train of thought, honestly. I think I was saying that I've got charisma. I think that's what I was saying. And, and uh, I just don't know how to show it. Um, and like if, if I could use that, I could. Uh, I think I could survive in the world. I'm smart enough. Got a personable uh, personality. And uh, I do well. I do well. But uh, finding that's tough. So hopefully, I keep saying to myself, like, you know, when I got this job, I'm like, okay, I can go in there and be an outgoing and talkative and social guy. And everyone's gonna know, like, be friends with Aaron at this golf course. And it has not happened yet. I'm like a nice guy. I'm very friendly. People like pull up and talk to me. Um, I think I'm very agreeable. Uh, I don't. Whatever you say to me, I'm going along with it. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to, you know, try and make conversations difficult or like bring up obscure points. One guy I work with keeps talking about how uh, Trudeau's uh, running the country like a dictator. I'm like, I'm not touching that. I'm not, not touching that at all. I'm just going to smile and nod. Like, totally. Totally, man. Absolutely. Dictator Trudeau. Supreme leader Trudeau. Um, but, like, people still, like, they see me working. They pull up and they chat with me quickly. And I just, I don't say anything. So, I'm like, I don't know why. I don't know why they keep uh, coming to talk to me. If I don't, I can't contribute anything to the conversation. I just go right on. Right on, dude. Yeah, totally. Sounds good. Right on. That's crazy. Wild. Man, that's nuts. Not in that voice, but that's a. Uh, I guess that's the internal voice I'm hearing to myself. Do you guys have that? Those, like, uh. Just those sayings that you get looped into saying. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. And every time I say right on, I'm just. I kick myself. And I'm like, they. Now they're all thinking that that's, like, just a thing I say. I only started saying right on when I started working at this job. And now I'm going to be the right on guy. I'm going to be the right on guy. But uh, hopefully, hopefully as we, you know, as the summer goes on and like I get more comfortable around them and just, uh, you know, start talking more, start showing my, my true colors more. Uh, it should, t should turn into a good summer. We're going to get a bunch of students hired working soon. And then hopefully like more people my age will help too. More common topics. I can actually talk to them about wanting to live in a van down by the river. And then they'd, uh, they'd understand it more than like the the 70 year olds that I'm, I'm working with currently 
which they're so nice guys they're uh, it's, it's fun to work with them it's a uh, it's not a bad gig at all i'm really enjoying it it's getting beautiful out there i've really uh, turned this podcast around off of the love letter to myself into just talking about work uh but i don't know what else uh what else to say i wish i had a story or something that i could uh append onto this podcast i feel like i've said uh all i need to say what else do i have to say about myself what else do you want to say to yourself aaron um accountability board kind of you're doing well on it we're doing well on it um i kind of fell off of it for a while a while uh just like not updating it uh being too generous with my check marks and system um my other board my streaks board that's been going fine having no booze no weed all year so far yoga every day so far um what is it as of april 1st it was 91 days straight of yoga so we're at 96 days now i guess closing in on the 100 days of yoga over 100 days of not smoking weed and over 200 days of no drinking so yeah i feel good i'm healthy uh i kind of have a, a a carb heavy diet still which uh carbs are like my my sleeping pills now at this point uh rather than take like melatonin or something uh i just eat a bunch of carbs before bed and then just my body's like we gotta process this dude you gotta close your eyes and hit the sack uh and then i read before bed which i'm enjoying i'm getting through a lot of books um yeah now i'm just listening to music (laughs) it's uh it's helping my ability to just focus but it's also like listening to music's fun yeah yeah man this is a i told myself when i sat back down i wanted to get to 40 minutes like a a, a shorter podcast last week i said i was gonna do a short podcast and i went up for like an hour 15 um uh, but i don't know how i feel about those like long rambling podcasts like there's no substance to it there's nothing i feel like it's not entertaining and like the numbers have been dwindling the numbers are going down so i think i'm losing people here which uh rightfully so uh it makes sense i'm not putting in uh not putting out a full errand for not putting out a full effort which is uh you know what's crazy this is something i was thinking about uh, this weekend kind of your brain does a lot of work like think of all the things your brain has to take in and process constantly 24 7 it's always taking things in your five senses and then running all your organs and then everything your brain is constantly doing things even things you don't notice is running things and the purpose of all of that is to create you all this stuff is going into my brain and is outputting aaron and then i in that process i then shit like withhold aaron from everyone else even though i'm a completely unique <clears throat> sorry i'm a completely unique and like a one-of-a-kind individual there's no other aaron's out there and this this culmination of my brain taking things in and the experiences i've had completely unique to myself and then i don't have the confidence to share it I um no, I feel like I, uh, that should be motivating that people would want to see that and like meet unique people and like interesting people. I feel like I've got an interesting outlook on things in a fun a fun way of life about me. Um yeah, so that is the brain's going through a lot of work to create me and then at some point it's it's not going to create me and I'm going to c- and Aaron will cease to exist, which is another weird thing. I'm just a a blip in the radar. A a blip on planet Earth whatever this whole universe system is, I come into existence, I get this fraction of time to enjoy all that's going on here, and then when it's done, as far as we know, it's gone, and that's it. Aaron no longer exists, which is not, I'm not really scared of dying. Now, I'm not like eager for it. I'm like stoked, but I'm like, it's uh, it's gonna happen. It's, uh, it's, it is interesting, like what's, what's, what is gonna happen? I think I've talked about this before and I hate repeating myself, but it is like, um, you know what's life is very interesting and what's going on so i feel like death would be the same thing like what is ceasing to exist like uh consciousness feels so much more than uh just like you know like a like my battery runs out of juice it's, it's gone forever like consciousness feels like it uh it rises above um it's, it's just tough to explain like uh i guess like it's what people talk about, like spirituality and like souls and stuff like that I don't know, it just feels like uh, being alive is more than just electrical signals. And how can this just, like, uh, disappear as the body stops working? Um, 
and then doing like psychedelics and stuff like that it makes me feel like there is kind of a connection to something more to like a world that we uh you know another dimension we can't see that like exists at the same moment as ours you know fourth or like uh in that uh three body problem i read there's like uh, they talked about like there's 12 dimensions and like we only get to see three of them um yeah yeah so that's a uh, probably read more books on that too spirituality and uh i believe most of it i don't, I don't know what, if it's a belief it's like uh it's interesting to me and like i'm open to the ideas of it i'm not it's you know i'm not a religious guy even like the science i'm like uh, how much how can we prove things you know we can prove things right now but we're like such a small they're only true in this small window of time we've been alive and like how can we guarantee that they're true forever like the laws of physics are always going to be true forever you know i gotta turn that music a little bit ball of confusion yeah yeah we got to 30 minutes these are like the old podcasts where i'm like counting down like or counting up i guess Ooh, 30 minutes we need more we need more yeah I gotta do more of these uh, personal podcasts. I don't know, there's something about planning a podcast out, which I think is important. Um, but sometimes it's just, uh, you know, Aaron's gotta air out. I did therapy for a year and that kinda, that kinda got, got me on the right tracks. And now I can't afford to do it. And now this is, you know, it's the same, it's pretty much the same thing. I just don't have someone responding to all the things I'm talking about. But, uh, but uh, that's, I had nothing, nothing else to go on that. So what am I going to do going forward? How am I going to, I guess, yeah, how am I going to fix all these self-esteem and self-confidence and low second-guessing myself and low belief in myself? I think, I mean, I think the thing to start with is just um, making some videos and putting them back out there again, getting back on that. Um, I think, like, not... I want to build up like a bunch of videos and like have an identity for my YouTube channel. Um, just so I can, like I can have a regular uploading schedule, but maybe I don't even like, uh, I feel like having a regular uploading schedule makes sense if you're like your goal is YouTube. But if my goal is just to be creative, maybe a regular schedule is not needed. It's just like when I have something to upload, and I put a lot of time into it, I upload it. And if I don't have something to upload, I don't upload. And like, if it's, I think if it's quality content that reflects myself and who I am and like, it's what I enjoy and what I believe to be good, I think people would subscribe and like want to wait if it's like a month or even longer, you know, uploading more videos, I think is worse than uploading less. Cause if you're uploading a bunch of crappy videos, which I was doing, it just fills up people's sub boxes and then they're just like, okay, I'm sick of this guy because I don't watch most of his stuff and it's low quality. But if I'm only uploading like once in a blue moon and it's a really good video and something I really care about, I stop taking up any space in people's sub boxes. It's like, and then they're looking forward to it and they're like, oh, I can't wait for Aaron to upload again. So yeah, maybe that's what, uh, that's what I gotta do. I'm not, not saying that stuff's gonna come out, uh, like next week. I'm not putting a deadline on it, but maybe. Maybe that's a, the approach you need to make and just uh, use look at YouTube as a hobby and something that's fun and just as like a like a final step to the creative process and like all the enjoy put all the time and enjoyment into making videos and then if I feel like they're ready to upload upload them and that's a good way to you know share myself and get out there and then hopefully we get some good responses and that like fuel my uh, you know my self esteem and feel better about myself and be like okay. People do enjoy my stuff. People do enjoy me. What's next? What more can I do? So I think that might be a, a good step to uh, get towards it. Um, you know, I'm playing soccer. Hopefully I can make some friends doing that and, you know, try and be a more outgoing guy. Try and at work, try and like figure out more conversations and stuff. I just feel so awkward in a conversation because I'm like, I'm, I want to talk to people. I'm like, they're wishing I was saying more. They're wishing I was, I just, you know, people answer, ask you a question. I give them like, I just answer the question like in as few words as I can and then I don't give them anything more. And then I always feel bad. There's like a few seconds of silence where it's like, I feel like they're almost waiting for like more of an answer and I don't give it to them. And like, I wish like, I should give people more, give people more of my thoughts and more of my time. That's what they want. Um, 
get out of this thought process that people don't want to hear from me and people you know that's just a uh, inside my head that is just a uh, that's just Aaron talking down to Aaron whereas uh yeah contribute more I can contribute more I have stuff worth contributing uh, I think people want to hear it I mean the few the like 14 of you that still listen to this podcast I guess that should be uh, evidence enough that uh people people like what I have to hear people like what I have to say people like to hear what I have to say um, I'm just I'm a really good listener though and it's uh, I'm very comfortable in silence which is a problem it's not there's no such thing as awkward silence for me because I'm just I'm thriving in it I love it uh, I love when other people do all the talking for me uh, and I don't have to do anything I don't have to do I'm, I'm lazy I guess I don't, I don't have to do anything I can just sit there and nod my head and be like yep yeah totally right on right on yeah um, any other steps? Any, do you guys have, I'll, I'll open the floor to you guys now. That's a, that's a good conversation, Aaron. Give yourself a pat on the back. A pat on the neck. Yeah. That's a, you guys have any, any suggestions? Have you guys gone through anything similar? Let me know. If you want to see that GIF, if you send me some advice, I'll send you that GIF I made. So a little, a little quid pro quo, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do in my life? I've been loving guitar. I've said that before. Making these little drawings and animations is a lot of fun. Doing that more. Uh, I just, I think, I just want to actually, when I took the little break, I, I scrolled through Instagram a little bit. And I saw Jordan Peterson posted a quote, and it's like, uh, spend time doing things that are meaningful and not expe- expedition. I don't remember the word he used. Expe- let me find it. Expedish, expediary, expe, expe something. Uh, that's not it. Pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. Um, which that's kind of what I talked about earlier. I've been trying to find the easiest way to do things. That's why I switched to these animations rather than filming sketches. Um, you know, trying to just do things in a way that I can just like check the box rather than being like, did I do this thing? the way I want to do it and did I, did I accomplish the task I want to accomplish um so I think you know I think playing guitar is meaningful to me doing these I like being creative I'm a very I can say I'm a very visually creative person I'm not I'm not a wordsmith by any means and you know, I do like writing like creative stories I think I have some I think I have ideas um that are unique um yeah it's not a, I don't have a, a strong vocabulary though so like the writing itself is never like something that stand out but I think the the ideas behind it I think I'm, I'm good at producing that stuff and I think I have a unique things that a, a unique perspective that I think people would enjoy um so yeah pursuing things that are more meaningful to myself and uh yeah stop this uh this idea that I just gotta check off boxes and if I if I check off all these things on my accountability board just for the sake of checking them off that I'm I'm on the right track that's not that's not how it works um so it also goes back to that Mike Posner thing uh that like uh the worst way to live your day is to believe that there's a right way to live your day um yeah I gotta stop holding myself it's it's so uh confusing to be like I want to be disciplined and like accomplish all these things but also being uh like uh achieving success like doesn't have to be limited to just the finite goals you set yourself every single day you know i need to uh just do what feels right and uh you know do what i'm enjoying and then uh things good things should come from that and uh with that i think we're getting we're getting close to the uh the 40 minute mark uh, you know, with the intro and outro, I think we should, uh, it should be able to squeeze up to the 40 minute mark. So a shorter episode for you guys, a bit of a, a different vibe for this one, more of a, just a, a conversation with myself, uh, trying to sort things out, trying to figure things out. That's what, uh, that's what I'm doing over here. Um, so if I could summarize this, I am, I'm doing better. I'm out of the rut. Uh, still got a lot of things to, you know, work on myself and kind of to focus on still a lot of things I want to achieve. And uh, I'm only going to get there through uh, hard work and nothing's going to come easy. Uh, I got to stop trying to find the easy way out and uh, be more confident in myself, be nicer myself and uh, 
believe myself a little bit more, you know, share, share my thoughts, share my feelings, uh, talk to people, all, all that stuff. So hopefully, hopefully next week I have some, some good news for you guys that, uh, I've made some, a, a positive step, not even some steps, just focus on a positive step, you know, try and get 1% better by next week. I think that'd be a, that's a valuable goal. So thanks guys for listening to this, uh, very short installment of Aaron Arrow. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see uh we'll see you next time on episode thirty two. Aaron out. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Now take what you learned and have a great day. Damn, it feels good to air out.